Okay guys, so I've arrived here at my next shipper, which is the Reynolds Aluminum Plant here in Malvern, Arkansas. And uh, I've checked in over there at the office. You know, they've changed the way they uh, check you in. Seems like it's different every time, but the way it worked this time is once you pull up to the stop sign, I'm the second truck in line. There's a, uh, I think a TMC truck up ahead of me. But you walk over to that little building there and check in and they give you this little loading document so once i get inside for loading i'll give that to my loader and they don't want you on your trailer so uh what i've done is i've sent all the things out that i'm gonna need Binders, pads, coil racks, a couple of timbers, um, three one footers to build my uh, stop chain in the front. Got a canvas tarp, skid mat. And I need to go around to the other side and throw out a big tarp because I'm only getting one One big coil you can see that maverick driver there who I just met coming out I think he said his name was Anthony he lives down in Texarkana He's got two coils So you can see he was able to cover his I don't know. He's got two tarps on there um, I'm not sure about about the tarping there whether he used a big tarp and one small one but anyway he's got two smaller coils than what I'm getting but typically the coil if you're getting one coil from here going to Terre Haute I usually use my uh, big a big tarp some guys will use a four foot tarp and and do a butterfly thing with it but I don't really know how to do that, so I'm just going to use a big tarp. But uh, here's a look at the, this is where you park. You pull in off of the highway there and just park here until they call you in. And then we'll go in over there and scale in and get loaded. So I'll show you more later. And I should have mentioned that uh, this coil delivers Monday morning in Terre Haute, Indiana at the Novellus plant they make uh, aluminum uh, cooking pans and aluminum foil stuff like that pretty cool place all right well just waiting for them to call me in all right guys well they just called the truck that was in front of me into the scale and I'm gonna go in in just a second I'm giving him a chance to get off the scale and then we'll be uh, turning into door 12 after we scale in. And uh, basically we'll be coming out on the back side of the building and then coming back straight through, uh, straight ahead. There's a scale straight in front of me that's the exit scale. Um, hey, wait, you can go ahead and come on in. Oh, that's, she's calling me, telling me I can come on in. But now there's a truck in the way. Okay, well now there's a truck in my way, I think. So, uh, anyway, I'll try to show you as much as I can. Okay, I'm going to show you my setup here. I'm not showing any of their stuff, just my trailer. So, it's going to be a big coil, even though it only weighs about 35,000 pounds. I've got, uh, let's see, five coil racks on here two timbers, two pads, skid mat, and I've got it positioned. You know, I'll have him load this thing so that the front edge of the coil is about to the front edge of my skid mat. And that should leave me enough room to get a chain angled over into this space right here. All right. So that's kind of what I'm doing there. And I've got all my stuff set out here and uh, just waiting for him to bring the coil. They just put the coil on the truck in front of me and I think uh, that's my coil right there. So uh, I'll set the camera down, see if I can get a 
get a little footage of it. a big coil folks probably about over six foot tall and almost the whole width of the trailer how much 67 inches wide so uh, all right well that's it let me get to work okay everybody I've got it secured so I wanted to show it to you before I started throwing tarps on here and uh the guy the guy said it didn't matter about the camera everybody has one <laughs> so he said now i haven't seen the paperwork but he said this thing weighs a little over thirty thousand pounds but i secured it for more weight than that this is you know i could have gotten by with just probably two chains and two or three straps over the top but i always put four chains so I've got four cross chains with padded edge protectors and I've got a trip chain here in the front okay with a pad there just to kind of protect the coil and then I've got two four inch straps going over the top and I tighten them down first before I start tightening my chains and then here's a look from the back so four chains two straps That's just how I do them, no matter what the weight. All right, now I'm gonna throw a canvas tarp over this sucker just to protect from the, you know, the sharp edges. And then I'm using one of my big lumber tarps. All right. Okay, folks, so I've got the uh, coil secured and I've got the tarps over it and partially bungee down but I'm going to go ahead and pull out of the loading building because there's a at least one truck behind me now so plus it's hot in here man a lot of heat coming off these coils we'll get out here in the nice weather but anyway all I have to do is um, finish bungeeing down my tarp and then uh, to get out of here we'll be driving straight down there hook a left at the end of the building and go out to the exit scale so i'll show you more later all right well got her tarped and heading back around the building to the exit scale I would show you this might help you know how to get around later. You'll 
see as I make this turn that they've got lots of aluminum ingots. And I've delivered aluminum ingots. See out there in the yard? I've delivered those uh, at least a couple of times, maybe three times here. You know, so they, they get those aluminum ingots, melt them down and make aluminum coils. that go on to get turned into aluminum foil and food containers, aluminum cans, all kinds of stuff. right there so anyway I'm just going around the building trying to get to the exit scale just giving you a look around man that tarp was dirty I'm sitting here wiping wiping my arms off because I think that tarp I just used was the big one that I used this morning when I was delivering in Longview, Texas. And if you'll remember, that place where I had to lay the tarp out on the ground and roll it up was pretty dirty. Muddy, dirty. And the tarp was still a little bit wet on one side from the dew. So, I'm pretty dirty now. Alright, so it's now this little awning here to the left is where I've gotten unloaded before with some of the ingots I've delivered. You, you can see they've got some some ingots out here stacked. But I've also got unloaded out around back where we just came from. So today was not bad at all. You know, when I started this day, I thought it was going to be a wasteful day. But I got unloaded there pretty quick at Steel and Pipe in Longview. Had a nice deadhead up here to Malvern. Got loaded reasonably quickly. There was only one truck ahead of me, you know, when I got here. So, it's all good. And I've got plenty of time on my clock. I'm only about, you know, an hour and... 10 minutes from the Maverick North Little Rock yard, so this is a home load for me. I've already messaged the wife to tell her, hey, I'll be home tonight. But I'll have to leave out sometime Sunday afternoon, probably. But that's all right. That's how it goes. You get home on a Thursday, you got to leave on a Sunday. Usually. All right, I'm on the scale. Let me go, uh, you have to walk over to the office now and get your shipping documents. All right, so I've got my shipping documents. They've scaled me out. So all I gotta do now is pull on out of the gate. And I'll pull over to the side out here and send in my uh, leaving shipper information and double check and uh, do a walk around the truck and trailer one more time before I hit the road. And I might as well make me a celebratory cup of coffee. And then I'll. Uh, I'll see you at the Maverick North Little Rock Yard and we'll uh, close out the week and do a recap. See you there. Okay, everybody. Well, I'm arriving at the Maverick North Little Rock Yard. About to wrap up the week. It's uh, Thursday afternoon, about 5 p.m. 
This is the first time I've gotten home on a Thursday in quite a while. But that's cool. I'll have Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. And I just got to figure out when I'm going to leave on Sunday. I won't have to leave real early. But, so that's cool. Here comes a Maverick truck leaving the yard. And, uh, looks like a trainer truck there. Alright, so, as usual, as I wrap up the week, you know, we're passing the Maverick Driving Academy here on the right. Looks like, uh, still some activity going on over there. And approaching the main Maverick Yard. I do want to stop by the supply barn as I drive in and pick me up another canvas tarp because I only have two and I actually I like to carry three you know sometimes you get a long load of steel product and need three of them all right so let's get the gate open here Looks like the truck wash is shut down for now. Good thing about getting here on a Thursday though is I'll have a decent choice of parking spots. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, so let's go over here. Like I said, I'm just going to um, ask the guys for another canvas tarp and then I'm I'm also going to check the trailer in because I've got a marker light that although it's been working I kind of fixed it but I'm not I'm not comfortable with it I'm afraid it's going to stop working so I'm going to ask them to replace it all right I'll get back to you shortly okay so I stopped and saw Michael in the supply and he gave me a another canvas tarp so thank you Michael all right so uh, there's one side of the shop then over to the right there's the uh, Maverick Hotel I call it where they house some of the students while they're here And as we make this left turn, you'll see the training building. You know, if you come here with your CDL, you'll do a couple of weeks in there learning the new hire safety securement training. And then you'll get hooked up with a trainer, go out on a trainer truck for about three weeks. Then you'll come back for a couple of days of uh, Oh, final eval type stuff and then get your own truck but if you come here without your CDL you'll spend a few weeks over at the Maverick Driving Academy and maybe some over here too but I think most of your work getting your permit and CDL will be done over at the Maverick Driving Academy part of the property so I'm going to park right here on the end all right let me get parked and I'll do a weekly recap with you okay folks let's do the recap like I usually do with uh, last week's miles and gross pay so the miles for last week were 2,363, 2,363, uh, give me a second, I'll go retrieve the email with the payroll, oh boy, let's see. The gross pay was $1,732.69, $1,732.69. 
So there's that for you. And I wanted to try to catch up on some of my new guys. Um, I know Nicholas from Columbus, Ohio is out on his own. Uh, as is Mark from Bay, Arkansas. They're both finished and out on their own. And I got an email today from Dakota from up around uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. He just completed his uh, training here at, at Maverick. Now he got a CDL on his own somewhere there locally around where he lives and then came to Maverick and just finished the two week training at Maverick and he said he sent me an email today that he's gotten hooked up with a trainer and he was happy to say that the trainer lives pretty close to where he lives and they're supposed to hook up Sunday and hit the road so way to go Dakota um, let's see now Dakota I was trying to find my notes Dakota, um, he's been working, doing different stuff for a while. He worked in a distribution center, a factory, was an EMT, and just decided to get back into truck or get into trucking because he came from a trucking family, and uh, his family wanted him to do something else, and <laughs> he ended up circling back to doing trucking he said he talked it over with his wife and they decided to go for it so the journey begins he'll be out in the trainer truck for about three weeks he'll come back here for a couple days of final evals and then get his own truck and solo he goes all right so let me see here i'm, I'm probably going to skip somebody um Let's see, I've got um, Michael uh, that lives up in uh, Green Forest, Arkansas. That He's done trucking before, but it's, he's been out of it for a while. He's getting back into it. But he starts, I think, Sunday uh, here at Maverick. Just, you know, uh, I think he's already got a, yeah, he's got a CDL, but he'll have to go through the two weeks here at Maverick. And let's see. Oh, sorry. I got Doug from Tulsa. That's, uh, I need to reach out to Doug and get an update on him because he ought to be getting close to finishing his time on the trainer truck. If he's not done, he ought to be pretty close. Yeah, let's see. And then I got Jeremy from Muscle Shoals that he ought to be about done also with the trainer truck. So I'll try to reach out to him also and get an update. All right, let's see. I got Jake from Searcy, Arkansas, who uh, recently got his CDL up at the Arkansas State University campus in Newport uh got a cdl through that program and he starts here at maverick this sunday also so got three guys starting uh i guess that's it i don't want to take too much time on that i may have skipped somebody but that's that's uh the highlights now let whoa let me uh get out here wrap up the week uh, I dropped my pen wrap up the week here by showing you this 
Um, so there's the training bays over there. You know, I've mentioned this before, but they have about a dozen sample trailers set up over there where you practice, you know, some of our more common loads. You know, they set it up, show you how to do it, let you practice. Pretty good system. So here is my big coil. And I was telling you how dirty my tarp was, and you can sure see it. Maybe it'll get rained on over the weekend or snowed on. <laughs> But the front of this thing, I don't like the way that ended up. I, but you know, this is one of my big lumber tarps. And uh, you know, the back looks all right. And the sides are nice and tight, but I didn't like the way the front ended up. I'll have to figure that out. Here's the light that was messed up. It's still working. You know, and I wasn't happy with how it was sitting in there because the frame that holds it was kind of busted but you know it's ridden in there for a good three days and seems pretty tight i'll i don't know i may just leave that alone and not bother the shop with it this tarp box is missing a locking clasp but that's no big deal check my securements that's the uh uh, trip chain it doesn't have to be super tight so all right well that's it big coil going to Terre Haute Indiana just giving you a look around so um, there's some brand new trucks over there waiting for a driver okay guys that's it I'm gonna Get my stuff moved over to my car and uh, head home. I'll see you Sunday.